Alright, what's up? It's Kevin, and today I'm making an SAT math video for you guys. So, this is where I'm going to talk about how I got an 800 in math, and that is why you guys can trust the strategies I'm going to be talking about today, and they're going to help you a lot, trust me. Alright, so I'm making this video for people who like might not be the best at math, or you guys like want like a really high score forever you want to go. So, at the end of the video, I'm also going to be talking about the books that I used that were like super helpful to help me get that score, so you guys might want to stay tuned for that. And you guys should subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Also leave a like if you think this video helped you. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is just have like a fundamental grasp of the math concepts that are going to be on the SAT. So not everything that you learn in math class is going to be on the SAT. And similarly, there's going to be things on the SAT that were not in your math class. This is why, like, a lot of people, I see them just, they just go grab their textbooks, like 500 pages and read it, you know, cover to cover. That's not the best thing to do, guys. What you want to do is actually go get the blue book. Uh, I'll put a picture right here and a link in the description. And that actually goes over the topics that are covered on the SAT. Now, what you can do is go on this website. It's called Khan Academy, which has lots of math practice and it's specialized for the SAT. I'm going to have a link for that. Um, in the description as well. It's completely free and what you're gonna do is just do like this diagnostic test and what you're gonna see what you got wrong and work on those concepts So this is like your foundation before you start getting into the real test prep Now at the same time I wouldn't spend too much time on that because what you really want to do is hop into the practice test as quick as you can So I would get you know the blue book it has a bunch of practice tests in it that are the official practice tests and what you want to do is just like do the math test see what you're getting wrong and what you want to do is keep a track of every question you ever got wrong in a journal and review it before every single test you take. So this is going to do two things for you. First of all, you're going to see which concepts you're weaker on. So for example, if you're not good at algebra, then you're going to pick up on that pretty quickly. You're like, hey, every single question I've been getting wrong today is like algebra or like it's polynomials or like this and that, right? So then you can go on YouTube, on Google, look it up and then understand the concepts so you're never going to get it wrong again. Now because the SAT only has like a handful of type of math questions, this is super key that you do this because once you get good at like the questions you don't know, you're going to see that the SAT is just going to repeat those kind of questions with different numbers. So you're going to be able to, you know, attack them and get them every single time. And you guys also should be answering every single question on the test because there is no penalty for getting a question wrong. Now on the no calculator section, you're going to want to have around, you know, five to 10 minutes minimum at the end. So you can just go back to the questions you circled and yeah, exactly. You want to circle questions that you don't, you're kind of iffy about so you can have the time at the end to go back and check them. And on the calculator section, you're going to want to have, you know, a good 15 to 20 minutes at the end. You're going to have to get quick with it, guys, if you want to get a perfect score like that. So you're going to take that time, go back, review the questions that you think you might have been, you know, a little bit uh, iffy about, and then you're going to go correct them. All right, so that's basically like the, the tips right now. It's pretty straightforward, and I think that anyone can accomplish it. In terms of the books that I used that were super helpful in helping me get an 800 on the math section, I used the College Pandas. A math book and that actually goes over like all the different concepts that are on the SAT with practice questions and in addition to that I used the college board uh, practice tests along with the math workbook from Princeton Review so that was super key because that provided so many different questions that were so similar to the actual test which you know it helps you because once you start getting you know uh, all of them right then you're gonna see the same questions repeat on the actual test so it's a, it's a win-win situation. And of course, in addition to that, you're going to want to hop on Khan Academy at the beginning of your test prep. And I'm going to have a link to everything that I'm talking about down below in the description, books and websites. So that's about it, honestly. You guys should, um, you guys, you guys honestly got it. If you put in the work, like start a couple weeks before the test, you know, five, six, seven weeks. Just keep, keep understanding like which questions am I getting wrong, which, uh, which concepts do I need to learn. And by the end of that period, as long as you work at it, you're going to get it for sure. All right. So honestly, that's about it, guys. You should uh, leave a like if you like the video and leave a comment if you think that I missed anything at all or you think that you have something, you know, to share that would actually help people. Uh, subscribe for future videos and follow me on Instagram because, you know, it's going to get really interesting really soon. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Take care.